Welcome everybody to the introduction of how to record a UPK topic with the UPK developer tool. In my previous blog, I created an outline with a module, a lesson and a topic. Uh, in this topic, we will show you how to record uh, a simple scenario. In this case, we are going to navigate to Google uh, Google the Oracle website and just navigate a little bit on the website and concluding our topic with that. It's a simple scenario. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to select your topic, so in this case the Hello World topic. On the right you will see your concept screen and your introduction screen. I will not uh, talk about those screens in this topic but I will discuss them in, in a uh, upcoming topic. For now we're just going to focus on the recording. So the first step you want to take is press the record topic icon. Uh, it's the camera over here. And in this case uh, the UPK will tell me that my current screen solution is different than the screen solution or a resolution that I chose in the options and if I want to use my current resolution. So I will choose yes and as you can see the UPK developer tool uh, hides in the background and you will have a recorder tab. Uh, in this case it will show you uh, the, the topic name, uh, the button you have to press to begin your recording. Um, in my options I chose to use the F2 button because uh, the print screen uh, wasn't handy for me. Um, what I will record when I um, make my first screen, so in this case it will show me that I make a start screen and that I have no previous recorded event. Um, you can choose to either record your topic with or without sound. For this scenario we're going to record it without sound and you have a undo button and a finish button for when you're done. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create our start screen. In this case, we want to make our start screen on the uh, desktop because we want to show your user each step that he has to take. So we press the F2 button. And as you can see, it shows me that my uh, last recorded event was the start screen and my next recorded event. In this case, it's nothing because we haven't pressed anything yet. So we're going to open the internet and as you can see the next uh, screenshot records it shows exactly what I just did and it gives me the opportunity to uh, press F2 again to make a new screenshot of that so we will do that. And as you can see um, it constantly changes to what you're doing. Um, even when you're not clicking on anything but just navigating over stuff it shows you uh, that if you do this you can also use that as a screenshot um, but in this case we won't use it because it's not necessary. What we're going to do is navigate to the Google uh, website and make a screenshot of that. Press enter. And what we're going to do is then navigate or at least search the Oracle website. Make a screenshot of that. And we are going to the Oracle International website. Make a screenshot of that. To make a screenshot, you just have to press the F2 button each time you performed an action. You can also choose in your options of the UPK to uh, automatically um, make the UPK record your actions. But in that case, if you make a misclick, it will also record that and you will be uh, you will have to edit your topic after you're done recording. Um, so in my case, I think it's easier to just uh, press the record button myself. So what we did is navigating to the Google website and pressing on the, uh, just going to the website. And what we will do is just a small thing. We will press the Java, make a screenshot of that. And just to make it easy, we will delete the hyperlink um, to show you uh, the last options. So in this case, we are done and we will press the finish button. What you will see is that um, the UPK shows again with all the screenshots that we just taken. We can just browse through it. And as you can see, the UPK decides or at least makes the, um, the actions that you've done, it automatically uses the name of where you clicked on and the action that you performed. 
so actually as you can see each step has been automatically done for you and has been created into a frame and you can edit your topic in this this is called the uh, the topic editor um, on the right side you will see your frame properties which we will explain in uh, in text in the blog um, but for now we'll just uh, keep it easy we have our start screen we have our double click on the Firefox item enter the website of Google as you can see the um, in this case because I'm using a VMware not each action that you perform uh, will show the correct um, the, the correct action that we wanted to show so in this case it's it's still showing the blogging about Oracle applications website um, instead of the Google website with the Oracle link so what we're gonna do is just select this frame and delete it as you can see you have a toolbar up here with different actions and one of them is delete the frame As you can see, not always it's exactly complete, so we can edit it, edit it a bit. Click on the Java link. Well, we're just going to drag that up to the product and services. Press backspace. Well, it's just an empty screen because in this case we didn't tape it correctly. So in this case, we just have a simple recorded topic. And when we're done editing, we just say, OK, well, we're done with it. We want to save it and you'll see that the icon changes and you can close the topic editor and you see that your icon for your outline has changed what you can do now is to see if you recorded it correctly you have your preview mode up here with the differ different uh, preview modes that we explained in a uh, previous blog in this case we're going to preview our see it mode so you press the green arrow to uh, create your topic and in this case it's uh, publishing we just wait until the publishing is done because I'm using different browsers it's showing me a pop-up now do you want to use the Internet Explorer or Firefox you can choose one by your system default or just choose one that you want to use and ask, don't ask me again so as you can see our preview has now been opened and in the left side you will see uh, our module and our lesson that we created in this case it's the hello world lesson with the hello world topic um, as you can see it isn't displaying anything just uh, the oracle logo and the banner in the top of your screen and the rest is empty until we click one of the topics um, as you can see a new bar opens up here that we explained in the previous block with the different modes and as you can see a yellow uh, concept or introduction frame starts which I will explain in a following block and what we can do now is actually click on the see it mode and we can preview our created topic uh, that we recorded with the UPK and as you can see each step that we just recorded will be displayed by the see it mode and uh, the little mouse is doing the uh, actions for you because this is the see it mode and it will only preview what we have to do so in our following block we will go deeper into this process in how we can actually edit uh, one of these UPK topics and make the actions go faster or slower or even um, adjust them to um, expand them so that's for this topic. I hope you enjoyed.